At this point, we know that energy can exist in many different forms. In this tutorial, we'll learn that all of these different forms of energy can be categorized as either kinetic energy or potential energy. So let's consider these categories. Kinetic energy is associated with motion, while potential energy is associated with position and is often considered stored energy. Let's consider some examples and categorize the energies involved. Cars convert chemical energy, which is energy stored in gasoline, or potential energy, into kinetic energy, the car moving. So the car's main job is to convert potential energy into kinetic energy. A blow dryer. Now blow dryers convert electrical energy, which is kinetic energy. Remember that current electricity is the movement of electrons, so it's kinetic energy, movement. And a blow dryer converts this kinetic energy into heat, or thermal energy. And if you think back to previous science courses, you learned that thermal energy is vibrations at the molecular level. The more thermal energy, the more the vibration. So it's also kinetic energy. Thus, a blow dryer simply converts one form of kinetic energy, that is, electricity, into another form of kinetic energy, that is, thermal energy. How about a bow and arrow? A bow and arrow converts potential energy, that is, the spring energy in the bow. Consider, the position of the arrow in the bow lends itself to having a bunch of stored energy. And when you release the arrow, that potential energy is quickly converted into kinetic energy. The arrow goes flying through the air, definitely the energy of motion. So a bow and arrow clearly converts potential energy into kinetic energy. Let's look at speakers. Speakers convert electrical energy. Again, current electricity involves moving electrons, so we're converting kinetic energy into sound energy. Now, sound energy involves the movement of air as pressurized waves move through the air vibrating the air molecules. So again, sound energy must be kinetic energy. So a speaker's job is to convert one form of kinetic energy, electricity, into another form of kinetic energy, this time sound waves. We've talked about current electricity being kinetic energy due to the moving electrons. But can you actually store electrical energy? Yep. We can store electrical energy in batteries. Batteries allow us to walk around with a bunch of stored or potential energy, and when we want to use our device, the stored or potential energy is converted into current electricity, or kinetic energy. And when we charge up our device, that current electricity, or kinetic energy, is used to build up our potential energy. Let's consider one more example. What if you drop a rock? As it falls, it speeds up. It gains kinetic energy. It gets more motion energy as it falls. So where is this energy coming from? Something is being converted into this kinetic energy. And it's actually gravity that's pushing the rock down. So much like pulling an arrow back on a bow increasing the potential energy by pulling it back further, when you lift a rock, you're pushing it against gravity. You're increasing its potential energy. The further you pull back the arrow in the bow, the more potential energy you'll have for converting, and the more kinetic energy you'll get when you release it. In the same way, the higher you lift a rock, the more gravitational potential energy you'll have to convert. And the more kinetic energy you'll get when you release it, it'll be moving faster as it hits the ground. So lifting something up increases its potential energy. When it's lifting up against gravity, we call it gravitational potential energy. 
energy stored due to its position. 